Hi there, my name's Evan Carson. I'm a percussionist here in the UK and a recent member of the SE Electronics family. Uh, I thought I would talk you through what we've been using to record the drums here. I am primarily a Bowron player these days, uh, and this is an unusual drum to kind of mic up in the studio. So we've been trying lots of different things uh, and lots of different approaches. So I'll take you through what we've been using, sort of left to right. Uh, first up, we've been using the V-Kick, uh, which we've been using on the bass drum as well, but just seems to capture a lot of the low end on this in a really nice sort of punchy way, especially with the different settings that you've got on it. You can kind of uh, pick and choose kind of how warm you want it or how clicky you want it, a bit like a sort of metal kick. Uh, then we've got the V7 on the snare. It does everything you'd need it to do uh, as a dynamic mic for a snare drum. A lot of weight, which I found quite surprising. Uh, we haven't actually even needed to use an underside for the snare, so that's great. Uh, next up, we've got a stereo pair of SE8s, um, which we, we've been using just to kind of capture all of the, the top end sort of tinkly stuff, which is great. They've got a lot of top end transients, so that's nice. And then the unusual one, the sort of wild card one that I'm really, really happy with is the VR2, um, which is not something you tend to use on drums, I guess. It's uh, more for those warm things, but it's it's kind of like a ribbon mic that works like a condenser. It's kind of cool. So we've been using that um, to kind of capture a lot of the warmth on the front of the Baron as well. Um, which is something that doesn't always happen when you're playing this drum. A lot of people just put all the top end in the front part. Um, so we've been using it to kind of capture a lot of the different sort of like tonal variations that you get in this drum. Uh, but we've also been using it on the Timbale Laguero over here, um, which is a big goat skin drum. Uh, and it just, it's got so much warmth and clarity to it. So yeah, wild card one, but really, really cool. Really like it. So yeah. Um, that's kind of it. There's not a whole lot else going on. It's a very wonky kind of setup, so it's uh, a lot of fun to play. Um, but just in terms of the sort of sonic landscape that these mics have been able to kind of give us, it's, it's brilliant. So yeah, thanks Essie, nice one.